Hi everybody, welcome to Fit for Life. Uh, this is our second strength training of the week and we are using bands this time instead of those free weights, those heavy free weights. Anyway, I just want to just say a, a couple of comments about you know why we use them and what they do. They are effective as far as strength training goes. They're a little bit easier on us too. Um, they're effective, they're safe, they're inexpensive. They're easier to store and pack if you're going away for an extended amount of time and you don't want to carry weights in your suitcase. They're really terrific. Uh, they are safe, more gentle, as I said, a little more gentle than weights are. Um, and again, inexpensive, and we always like to hear that. So uh, before we start, though, we're going to do just a little bit of a warm up. Before we start our resistance training or strength training, whatever you want to call it. So all I want you to do to start is just bring those arms up. You can come forward in your chair a little bit and then come forward. Good. And bring those arms up and then forward again. This can be done standing up also. And it's probably even more effective. So keep that in mind. Let's do eight of them. This is four coming up. And five. And six. Good. And seven and eight. All right, let's do another warm up. Just reaching across and two. Just get that blood circulating a little bit. Ready for our strength, for our muscles. A couple of times more, good. One more set, yes. Yay, we are done with that. Hands right up here on your shoulders. Let's do some circles around and around. This is three, four coming up, five, and six, preparing your body for exercise. Let's go backwards this time, up and around, good. Loosens up your shoulders too. Getting your heart rate up just a little bit. It's kind of, I guess you could call this seated aerobics, couldn't you? Yes, bring those elbows together, bring them out, bring them together, or back and out together. This one feels good. Stretching your upper back and then opening up the chest area when you bring those elbows back. So this is good also for posture. Yes, it is. Wonderful. All right, great. Reach up, bring those arms down, cross over, grab your shoulders, and round forward just to stretch out your back a little bit. So are you ready to work your upper body with the bands? And here we go. We're going to take the band, these are resistance bands, strength training bands, whatever you want to call them. Each company has their own color code. This particular company, purple, is the most difficult. It's the hardest one. You don't need to use that unless you've been doing this a long time. So pay attention to the colors when you get the box, read the box, and find out if they're you know easy, medium, or very heavy weight. And the box will tell you what to do under both feet. Now we're not wrapping the band. And walk out on your heels, lift those legs up, and let's just pull back for a few minutes. Let's do a little, another little warm up for the upper body. But this time we're using resistance so you are strengthening at the same time. And as you're doing this, you're actually tightening your abdomen. So maybe that will um, tuck it in just a little bit. All right, are you ready? Here's what we're going to do. So straighten those arms, sitting up nice and straight. Posture is always important for any kind of exercise, just about. And now you're going to pull your feet apart and hold that two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Now, if it's too difficult, if you feel any strain or pain in your lower back, don't do eight of them. Do four of them. Do what you can do. Uh, just keep moving. Any exercise is better than no exercise. So we're going to do two sets today. Straight arms and pull the feet out. You should feel resistance. This is good for almost all of your upper body and lower body together. So pulling out, pulling out. Again, we're using our arms so this will strengthen the upper body, not just the lower. Holding on, holding on as long as you can. 
good, um, hopefully for the count of 10. Bring those feet back, okay. Now this is gonna be strictly for the upper body, the next exercise, and you will wrap the band. So this is going to be wrapped. That's too much band. So I'm gonna wrap once more on one side, once more on the other. And if that's too tight, just unwrap it once, all right? So we're just gonna pull out, your arms are up, and back, and out, and back, and out, and back. Number four coming up, and five, and six, you're feeling it now, I bet you are, and seven, and you're tightening your torso all the way down, you can feel it right in your abdomen there, and we'll do one more, then you're gonna bring your hands together Make a little shelf and just rest your neck by putting your chin right here on the shelf. Close your eyes for a couple of seconds. Good. All right. Now this time, arms out straight and we're gonna pull out. One, so it's straight out from the shoulder. And two, now you can count to yourself or you can breathe out on exertion. So that would be great and breathe out. This is four and five and six and seven and eight. We'll do just eight of those. Uh, make sure you have your water nearby just in case. Uh, you should be drinking during exercise or before each different movement. So we can do it before, during, and after. It seems like we can never get enough water. All right, now let's try right in front of the knees. Again, my band looks a little bit long to me, so I'm gonna wrap it again. And you're just gonna pull out to the sides, one. And you can feel it. And if you look at your arms, you can see a little definition in there, can't you? Good. Try not to round over. Keep that back straight, but forward. That's four and five and six and seven and eight. Hands together again, a little shelf. You can rest your chin. Don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like it. I like the feeling. I find it relaxing. All right, now, we're gonna do something I call the bow and arrow. You're gonna wrap the band on one end, wrap it on the other, and wrap for the second time on one end, for the second time on the other. Take this hand, just follow me. Um, I'm your mirror. So I'm gonna take this hand, put it on my shoulder. If this is too long, you won't get much resistance. You might have to wrap one side again. Just pull out one and two. Can you feel that? Cross over and hold on to that shoulder. Three and four and five and six. Good. And seven and eight. And you can go slower if you want to. It's very individual. You find the place that's fairly comfortable. I want you to feel some resistance. All right, we're gonna put that hand on the other shoulder here, cross the other arm over, and pull out one and two. It's sliding on the fabric here. Three and four, you're sitting straight, and five and six. Wow, feels good, seven or you're getting tired, but that's okay. It's a good tired. Uh, when you exercise, you usually do sleep better. I don't know if you've noticed, um, and you can add walking to that too. You will definitely sleep better if you take a 15 to half hour walk. If you wanna walk longer, that's okay too. Now, again, we're still working on the upper body. Take the band again, and you're gonna put it under both feet. 
both feet kind of the middle of the foot so the toes hang over a little bit. Not wrapping the band, just holding on to the ends and you can walk out, walk out. But don't do this, don't start caving in. Keep the back as straight as you can. Nice and tall, you'll, well you, yes, you will look taller, especially if you're standing up and you straighten up and you have good posture. So we're gonna try this now. All right, you're gonna bring the bands up. This is gonna be maybe a little difficult. We haven't really done this one before. You're gonna cross over as you come up. And two, you're anchored at the feet, right? And three, crossing over. And four. And five. And six. Do the best you can on this one. And seven, just remember not to wrap the band. And eight, if you want to do ten, that's fine. Let's rest for a minute. You could bring your heels down. Practice your good posture coming forward. I can feel that in my back. That it's a really good stretch. All right, we're going to bring the feet up, and you're going to kind of turn the hand so that you can see the top of your hand. You don't want to hold it this way, but just turn that hand over and go across. One, feel that in your shoulder, your upper back. Two, and three and four and five again you can go slower if you want to you get a little more benefit that way and over one more time wonderful now i want to loosen up the arms just a little bit i think what i'll do my band is long your band should be at least a yard long i think this one is a little bit more and just wrap that band and just circle it. Circle, circle. Just to loosen up your wrist and your arms a little bit. Does absolutely nothing for you except relax you for a minute. So I'm gonna do that. I might do this twice. I might wrap the band twice and just circle that hand. Kind of loosens and relaxes the arm and the shoulder. Good and then just let it unravel. All right, I'm just gonna place the hand here. I'm sorry, the band here. Hands up on your shoulders. We'll do those circles again. Good, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. And let's go in the opposite direction. Good. Great. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, bring the elbows together as much as you can, and then back, feel those shoulder blades come together, and then elbows together, and back. Elbows together, and back again. Let's do one more of these. Feels good, stretches the upper back, opens up the chest when we go back, and it does improve your posture just a little bit. Now, because we've been holding on to the bands, let's loosen the bands up. I'm, let's loosen the hands up. I've got the word bands in my head. Circle, circle those hands, circle. Easy stuff to do. And then the other way, good. All right. Each finger to the thumb. Three and four, and just go back and forth. Wonderful, okay. Shake your hands out again. Now do a stop movement. Pull those fingers back to stretch the hand out. Good. And hold that. And then we'll do the other side. When you're doing it on your own, do it a little bit longer. I know you can feel that in your wrist. Now, if you have arthritis in your hands and wrist, you might feel this. So just do the best you can. All right, now, palms together. Now turn your hands over so the top of your hands are together. So it's palms, top top of the hands together. Good. And then give yourselves a hug. Pull yourself forward. Oh, that's a nice stretch. I like that. Good. Now we're going to work on the lower body. But remember now, you'll be holding on to the band the whole time. So you're strengthening your upper body all the time when you do strength training with the bands because you have to hold on to them, right? 
All right, we're going to take that band under both feet. Good. In the middle. Try to get it as even as possible for comfort. Walk out on your heels. Sit up nice and straight. And pull back. And we're going to do what we started with. You're going to pull that band, pull those feet apart, and the band will stretch out. And you're tightening your abdomen too. But can you see that you're strengthening your arms? I know you can feel it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now we've already done some of these. So I think we'll only do four. Let those feet come back. Now straighten your arms and feel the difference. There'll be less resistance. So here we go. Breathing out as you, breathing out on exertion, that first movement. And hold it for as long as you can. Try to do it for 10 seconds if possible. Some of you might be able to do more. And then we'll come back slowly, good. Let's do it again. You just relax more when you breathe out like that, too. Now, you should be able to feel that in all of your lower body, your glutes, your quads, your hams, your calf muscles, your feet, your ankles. It's a wonderful exercise. Let's do one more. And you can rest a little bit longer between exercises, too. We only have this half hour, so sometimes I give you a lot, don't I? All right, you're still holding. Oh boy, you're going to be so strong, but you're also going to need some stretching. So we'll bring those feet back, heels down, straighten your arms, and we'll just sit and talk for a few seconds. Are you getting tired? Have some water. That's what I should be doing right now, and I think I will. So let's get that band anywhere you can, and we'll grab a little water really important. Cheers. Try to empty this a couple of times every day at least. All right now we'll take the band again. We're not wrapping it around the wrist or anything. You're putting it under one foot. In the middle? Yes. Why don't we wrap it once? We'll see what happens. If you want, you want some resistance. We are strengthening the quadriceps, your thigh muscle. So we're going to lift up. If you have arms on your chair, and I hope you do, you can rest your arms right here and push down one. Now you should feel some resistance. You should feel a lot of resistance in your quadriceps. And this is four coming up. And five. I'm going to be so strong today. Six. And seven and eight, and nine, how does that feel? And 10, and then just put the heel down. Now unwind, we're gonna do two sets. Sitting up straight again, bend that knee up and pull the band up. And again, you can rest your elbows on the arms and push down one. I think it's more comfortable this way, don't you? And three, and four, four, and five, and six, and seven. All right. And eight. Do you want to do ten? Nine, and ten. Heel down. Let go with one hand. Very good, but we have two legs. We have to do both sides. Under the foot. Middle of the foot. Wrap the band, one, and two. Lift that knee up, arms on the arms of the chair, and go down, one, good, and two. So you're tightening and toning, you're burning calories, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? Heel down, keeping the back straight. Unwrap the band. You're holding onto the ends. 
slide that heel back. Let's lift first and then put the arms on the arms of the chair. Lifting up, you're going to find this a little bit easier. One and two and three. And yes, it does get boring. That's why it's, it's good to either exercise with someone or watch my show. Take a class. And four. Our seniors offer wonderful classes, all kinds. Zumba and strength and yoga and Tai Chi. Try them all. See which one you like the best. We'll say six and seven, although I think it's more. Eight. It won't hurt to do a little bit more, will it? And ten. Wonderful, wonderful, great. Okay, let go with one hand. We're almost finished. Thank God for that. All right, this one you're going to like. It's relaxing under one foot. No wrapping this time. Leg out straight. Let's flex that toe back a little. You might have to lift the band a little bit and pull back. And don't rest your arms on the arms of the chair this time. Out to the side. One and two. Doesn't that feel good? Three. So you're getting a little stretching in there, too. And again, strengthening the arms. So I would say this is mostly for stretching, really. And out to the sides. Out to the side. Good. This is six and seven and eight and nine and ten. And just relax for a minute. Heel down, sitting up straight. Practice your posture by pulling that chin in. Now that's where you should be. And yes, you've got to work on it a lot. As much as you can remember. So the brain will remember to do it on its own. Right? All right. Well, then we're going to do the same type of thing. Same type of movement. But you're going to bounce it up and down. One. If you want, you can lift your leg up. Whatever you want to do. Or just the leg but we're lifting now. We'll say six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Let go with one hand, other side, underfoot. You know how to do it by now, I'm sure. All right, lifting up, flex that foot, pull back so the band stays under the foot. Sitting up tall, a one and two, and three, out to the side this time, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and down. Relax for one minute. Good. Drop your chin right down, and lift your head up, and for the second one, lift, pull back, and just bounce. One, watch that posture. Three, four, five, six. You can go slower, a little faster if you want to, but slow might be better. And I stopped counting, so we'll stop. We have one more, which I think you'll like. It feels good, and it's for your lower leg, for the foot, for the ankle, for the calf muscles under both feet, holding on, walk out on your heels, lift up. Actually, I'm going to have you bring the band up a little bit, just a little bit. Good. And we're going to pull back, posture, arms here on the arms, and point and flex. Now, we do this without the band. We've done it. And five, and we're ending with this one, and it feels darn good. I think so. I hope you do. Good. If you want, you can do this like this. Arms down if you want. At your sides if you want. It's just, I'm not counting on this one. I just like doing it. Maybe we'll do it for 10 minutes. What do you think? All right, so heels down. Come forward, let go with one hand. And just fold your band. You might have a little uh, plastic bag for it, just to keep it clean. Um, these, these can be washed. I wouldn't put it in the washing machine, but all right. So what, what we're going to do now, after a sip of water, let's have another sip, okay? 
we're going to do the Grecian stretch because it stretches both the upper and the lower body. And I, you know I love this stretch. I hope you do. It's a little ambitious, but you do have to come to the front of the chair and it would be really wise to have these arms here, all right? So I'm gonna just sit at an angle. So I'm not sitting straight, but just kind of on an angle. Now the leg closest to me, that's your outside leg, you're just gonna to put to the back like this. All right, and you're gonna reach down and grab the shin or the ankle, or if you can't get all the way down and you have stretchy exercise pants on, you can do that too, you can lift that way. It's a little cheap, but at least you're doing something, right? And you're gonna pull back to stretch the quads especially. And then this arm we're gonna let go if you can and reach forward and then reach again and then again. So you're pushing the upper body, you're pulling the upper body away from the lower. It's like you're pulling yourself in half, right? Very good, pull that chin in, reach and pull back at the same time if possible. You can wave if you want, circle if you want, that feels pretty good right now. It's a good all over stretch, isn't it? And try to hold this for at least 20 seconds when you do it on your own. Quickly, we have to do the other side, switch to the front, heel down this time, straight leg, good posture, hand right here and come forward. And you're gonna feel that in the back of your knee and it feels great. We can only do one side, but I want you to do the other side because I have to sign off now. I hope you got a good workout. You did something really good for yourself. Remember, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. See you next time. Bye.